here with Eddie George, and we are going viral. So yesterday, the Chiefs won Super Bowl 54, ending their 50-year drought. And so after the game, everybody was excited to hear what Pat Mahomes had to say. Take a listen to him with our guy, Terry Bradshaw. You're the MVP of Super Bowl 54. Where are you going? Something I've wanted to say my whole life. I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> Can I go with you? Yeah, you, everybody's in that. <laughs> So look at this, back on February 6, 2013, Mahomes actually tweeted, I bet it feels amazing to be the quarterback who says, I'm going to Disney World after winning the Super Bowl. Boy, how fortunate. He was 17 best. years old when he tweeted that. Back, there was uh, Demi Lovato, who sang the National Anthem, tweeted in 2010, one day I'm gonna sing the National Anthem at the Super Bowl, hmm. and she then did it. It's really, really cool moments for all involved yesterday. Most notably myself, yeah. but, yeah. It, but really, You're really just cool. talking about how you might be on the, the parade with the, the, the float. Oh, that was, so yeah, I was having a conversation. My daughter, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> my middle daughter uh, is the only one in the family that was born in Kansas City, so she and I are the two kindred Chiefs here. So my youngest daughter is Chiefs fan as well, but she wasn't born there, so she doesn't fully claim it. Also, one of my best friends growing up just was elected mayor. I, uh, I, so I have the ability, if I were to go back, to be on one of the floats. But I got to be here for you guys, first things first. So I'm not going to go to the parade. I'm going to stay here. Need to be in studio all week. Basking in this glory. So you but don't yeah. want to be shirtless on the float with the mayor. That's that's the vision you I have. I don't think anybody body. wants to see that. I don't want to see that. We're <laughs> body shaming. Who We're wants more that? body shaming. <laughs> Nobody really. Good. And by the way, let me say one other thing. I, we'll probably get half a million people at that parade. I've become a little too bougie for a cold weather parade. It's a get little, out a little here. cold weather probably it's in Kansas City. It's the first championship in 50 years. Yeah, but listen, my folks in Kansas City, I'm going to watch that from home. Well, if you're I'm celebrating properly, it doesn't matter how cold outside it is. It's it's cold. 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 You know what? Just say it. You know what? That's smart. Yeah. 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 Who celebrates more properly? Listen, the, the dynasty or whatever you want to call it, the Patriots have had these last... 15 to 20 years and so for me it's about taking it one year at a time uh, we we came up short last year we understood how hard of a challenge it was to get into this position again and we, we found a way to do it and we understand next year that when we come back and we enjoy this and then we come back next year it's gonna be just just hard the same same hard same amount of uh, tenacity and, and dedication every single day if we want to be here. And so I think uh, we, we just take it one year at a time, one day at a time, and try to put together great years. And then uh, at the end of it all, we'll have no regrets on where we're at. What do you think, Nick? Is this the beginning of a dynasty for the Chiefs? It's absolutely how a dynasty would start. You, you get close mm -hmm. the year before, you show all the makings of a champion, have a little bad luck go against you. You use that experience to overcome massive odds against you in each of your three playoff victories. And by the way, enormous adversity during the season. Patrick Mahomes suffered a major knee injury mm -hmm. midway through this year. And I'm gonna do it again like I did two weeks ago. Shout out Matt Moore, who won that game against the Vikings without Patrick Mahomes, a playoff team. Won the game against the Broncos, the game Mahomes went out. If he doesn't do that, none of this happens. The Chiefs don't get the bye, the whole world is different. I. Listen, I thought the Seahawks were going to start a dynasty. I was like, man, you got a young quarterback. He's a star. You got an excellent coach. You got all these players around him. And it, man, with 59 minutes and 30 seconds left in their next year's Super Bowl, it looked like, yeah, yeah. this is going to be a I dynasty. Still you hand don't the ball off to the call by Daryl Bevel. Right. I still don't get that. And one. so Crazy. sometimes things look like they're going to be dynastic, and they're not. But what the Chiefs have is the best player in the league by an enormous margin. Mm -hmm. He's 24 years old, one of the three best coaches in football. And Tyreek Hill is locked up. Travis Kelsey is locked up. Frank Clark, Tyron Matthew are locked up. My guy Chris Jones, I don't know if they're going to be able to lock him up. Sammy Watkins probably going to be gone. So there will be changes. Mm -hmm. But it, the question I would ask is, if I were to ask America right now, set the over-under on Patrick Mahomes' career Super Bowls. Career at two and a half. Anyone comfortable taking the under? No. No. Because I... Uh, three Super Bowls, if you win them in close enough successions, a dynasty. I, I mean, I think he's going to pile, get a handful of rings, and the real question is how many? It is a big question of how many. Um, this is the Pat Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes era. Yep. The, the 2020, the 20s are his. And I'm going to say he gets at least four because he is 24 years old. Uh, the question is, will Andy Reid be a part of that? Mm. You know, he's 62 years old. He talked about the amount of games he's won, well over two, what, 222, yeah, exactly 15 right. winning seasons, only three losing seasons for Andy Reid. 
The fact is now Andy missed, all he missed was a Super Bowl ring. So does he want to jump in the studio and live life and travel the world? Or does he want to continue to, to build a dynasty? So I, I'm curious to see if he's going to be married to Andy Reid and who that guy's going to be. And so also Steve Spagnuolo. That defense was, they, they won when they had to. It wasn't dynamic in terms of, statistically speaking, uh, making great stops here and there, but they, they won when they had to. So a lot of things, a lot of factors go into a dynasty, but it all starts with Patrick Mahomes. But I'm going to say Andy Reid goes with the ride, and they win at least, he wins at least three. Yeah, if you got a good coach and a good quarterback yeah. in this league, you're going to have a chance to overcome some roster deficiencies. So, yeah, even though they're going to have to go out and pay Pat Mahomes over $35 million Ooh, a year, man. I mean, with a new contract extension, I think that the money is worth it because he makes everybody else around him better. Yep. And your coach's job is a lot easier. I think for the first time in his career, Andy Reid has a quarterback where he can use the entire playbook that sure. he has. The entire arsenal is available just because of the physical talent. Which makes it easier for the, Andy Reid. Along Reed. with the football IQ of your quarterback. So to me, yeah, this is, this is an opportunity. The window is wide open for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I just have a hard time seeing Andy Reid walking away anytime soon just based on how special Pat Mahomes is. I mean, look at Bill Belichick. Yeah, exactly. When he won point. three Super Bowls right. in Tom Brady's first four yes. years as a starter, I'm, not, I'm sure he wasn't saying to himself, okay, now is the right time for me to walk away right. in my coaching career. He didn't see, think it was the right time to walk away when he won three Super Bowls in Tom Brady's last five years as a starter. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He goes on, he's 15 plus years in New England. So I, I could see Andy Reid deciding to stick around uh, for the long haul with, with Pat Mahomes. And they have a relatively young team. He loves the group of guys that he has mm -hmm. to work with. He said so much in the post-game press conference. So I just, I, I just feel like they have an opportunity to keep this pushing. And if they can figure the salary cap out, look at the core they have. Tyreek Hill, Mahomes is 24. Tyreek Hill, Chris Jones are 25. Frank Clark is 20. There's so much, 26. Mm -hmm. There's so much optimism on this team. It's a young team. Yep. If they mm -hmm. could keep that core together somehow, they could in fact be well, a dynasty. And again, the, the, the Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Frank Clark, Tyron Matthew, and Patrick Mahomes are 1,000% on the team next year. Yep. They're all locked up. No matter the contract they get, they're not moving on from any of those guys. Chris Jones is a question mark. Sammy Watkins could be a cap casualty, and he said he might take, he might a, year take off. a year off. He's like, I might take a year out of, off from football. To your guys' point about Andy Reid, it was the, I was, all three networks, Fox, NFL Network, everybody was doing different post-game shows yesterday. So you saw a bunch of guys do same interviews on different places. Travis Kelsey on one of the spots, I don't remember which, said, we got Andy a ring. Now he's married to us for life. And his point was, we, we're, we don't want Andy to ever go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what Andy will choose to do. He's obviously a tragedy in his life. Right. He obviously has dedicated so much and now he's done everything. But Andy himself he said he's back next season at the very least. Mm -hmm. And you do just wonder this perfect marriage where the players adore him, where he, one of the most brilliant offensive minds ever, finally has a quarterback yeah. that unlocks everything he's ever wanted to do. Why would you walk away? when it's the best it's ever been. Well, you never know what the guy's thinking. Sure. I mean, you know, you talked about the tragedy in his life. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to say, you know what, let me enjoy the fruits of my labor. Mm -hmm. Maybe say, let me go out while, while the iron is hot on top. You know, you never know what he's thinking. And you think, look at his age, he's 62. I mean, he, he's, he's not a sprung chicken. He's not necessarily old, he's still sure. a young man, yeah. relatively speaking. But, you know, in the next couple of years, he might go on a run. They might get close. He might, he might, he might get burnt out from it. You never know what he's thinking. So that's why I say, it really depends on Mahomes and who he's married to, uh -huh. because the Belichick Brady situation is historic and epic uh -huh. on all levels, and that's that's something I don't think we'll ever see. So I just don't know in terms of the age of Andy Reid and the youth of Patrick Mahomes how long that run is going to go. Whether it's four years, three years, a decade. I mean, Andy Reid will be 72 mm -hmm. yeah. by 2030. So at some point he's going to say, you know what? Maybe enough is enough, and will Kansas City? Get the get right, guy the in right place. guys in yeah. place and so forth and to, to, to succeed them. So that's, well, that's why they I'm got a heck of an in house candidate in Eric Bieniemy. Yes. If for some reason Andy Reid does walk, walk away, away yeah. and, and he doesn't take, Eric Bieniemy doesn't take a job elsewhere. But to me, the only things that would make Andy Reid walk away would be family and health. Exactly. Outside of those things, I just I just don't see him walking away from this team because it sounds like he loves those guys yeah. and it sounds like he has a special relationship with Pat Mahomes. All right, let's take a break. Eddie, stick around. Coming up.